Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I have a quick Divi Pro tip for you. As always, we try to create something that's useful and helpful and short and to the point. All right, let's get started and show you today's tip. So what I have for you today is probably something you didn't know that you needed or ever considered. Um, and that's just a guess you may have, but we're gonna make a browser back button. And at first you may be like, well, isn't that kind of unnecessary? Why don't you just use the browser back button that's in your browser? And it's a great question. Um, but there's a couple of things to consider with that. Um, the, one of the use cases for a, a button like this, um, and I'll, I'll try to get to this here and not just talk, but, but putting a button in like a theme builder template, like maybe it's a category page or the, the post page, like for blog posts. And you might say like, go back or whatever it is. And one of the key things to keep in mind is when, when a user gets to a page like that, you don't want to say like, um, back to main blog feed or something like that, or go back or whatever. And then your button is, is hardwired to the archive page, because that's going to confuse a user, especially if they're coming from like the home page. you might have a feed of posts on the home page, for example, and then they end up on the post and they, they click this button to go back or view all posts or whatever. And they were like, well, wait, I wanted to go back to the home page, something like that. So there's kind of a use case there. And I'll show you also with um, the events calendar uh, and our, our Divi events calendar, why it would be so important on there as well. So this is a really simple tutorial. You're gonna add a CSS ID and then a snippet of jQuery. So here's kind of the steps. Place your Divi button, style the button, customize the text, and then add um, the, the ID. So let's get to this. Here I have just a plain old demo site here. I'm gonna add a Divi button module. So go ahead and add your button module, or you may already have one. Now, more than likely, you would want this in a theme builder template. And so putting it in a template, like I said, the blog posts, like all posts page, you know, something like that, or whatever your post type is, um, it may be events. In fact, I'm going to pull that up as well and work through an example. So with our Divi events calendar here, um, anytime you click on an event, and if you were not using our plugin, if you were using just the events calendar, there would be a button right here. In fact, let me turn off our plugin and just show you really quick. All right, so I refresh the page. Here you can see it says all events, and this is kind of where I got the idea in the first place. So all events. So let's say, you know, that that's fine and well and everything. I click on here, but it's going to take me back to the main, you know, mydomain.com slash events. And again, if th that may be fine, but the idea is if, if this was on, I mean, the person could have come to this page through any means. They could have come through a category page or a tags page or the home page or, you know, any type of page like that. So clicking on all events is going to confuse them. So what we're going to do is kind of take that idea, but use a browser back button. That way, if they were on the home page before, or something like that, they can just go back. Um, and you can also have a different button that says view all events or something. And again, this is for blog posts as well. I'm just showing you this example. So what we can do in the theme builder here, go into my template and add a button module. And it's going to be the exact same process um, no matter what post type. So add a button. And right here, we're going to say something simple. I don't know, go back. And a little trick for the design here, I would say, use custom styles for your button. And then when you go down, and this is all optional, but one thing that I would recommend is show button icon and then choose on the left. And it's always set so that it only shows on hover. And choose the left. And of course, sometimes, I don't know, in Divi, sometimes the style's messed up like that, but I think when we get out of here, it's gonna look fine go back and put it right there and we're going to save take a quick preview of it very cool so right there we come to this page and like oh i can go back well right now it's not doing anything it's not taking me anywhere so let's go back to our tutorial the next step after you've kind of customized the design or whatever 
is to add this ID right here. And I'm just, I just made this one up, but PA back button. It has to be this because it has to match our code down below. So PA back button. So I would go in here, back to my theme builder and open up the button and put it in the advanced tab. So open your Divi button module, go to the advanced tab, CSS ID and classes and put it in that top field right there. It's gonna say CSS ID, PA back button. Save that, that's step one. So we've got the button and the ID added. Now we're fine in here. Now we gotta to go to theme options, theme options. Click on this tab called integration and then right here where it says add code to the head of your blog, we're gonna be pasting the snippet right there. So go back to the tutorial and grab the snippet. All right, it's this snippet right here. It's gonna start and end with script. See that? So we're gonna paste that um, right here. And you can see the ID is matching PA back button, okay? So it's targeting specifically the ID that we put in that other button. Now, we are done. Let's test it out. It was really that simple. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the events feed and, and demo some layouts here. Okay. Now I'm just going to click on any of these events. Um, I just pick one at random. And so you know that I'm on that page. Now I'm on this page. But what's happening when I click this? Watch. I go back to this page and it even goes back to the same spot. Isn't that awesome? So it's very helpful um, if I'm here looking at any of these events and then I go back and again, it'll be the same for a blog post. Let's say I'm on the calendar, the page here and I click on this event right here. Well, then again, if I go back, it knows to take me to this page. It's not confusing anymore. It's not taking me back to um, the events feed or the carousel or whatever, it's going back to where I expect it to go back. So I hope that is clear on the use case for it. And again, I was going to show you here, and I guess I never got to it. Same thing, you add your ID right here, and then the integrations. That's it. That's the tutorial. I was just using the events calendar and our plugin as an example because I think it works really well. So again, if you're in the theme builder, that would be for like any of the templates that's like all posts, like that one, in my case, it was all events. You could have all projects, all products. You know, you get the idea. Um, you could put it on any page. It doesn't have to be a template, but I'm just saying to me that makes the most sense. You could put it on um, a really, really, really good one is your search results page. Um, because what happens is you end up going, you, you might have a search module any like all over your site like any blog you might have one on all your blog posts whatever and so what happens is you type in a search and then you get to that page and you're like well you're kind of stuck you're stuck right there on the search results so adding the back button is just perfect for that uh, in that case as well so hopefully this is helpful a couple little use cases i think it's pretty simple very very simple hopefully um you find this useful and maybe I'm missing a use case, let me know in the comments as well. All right, there you go. Well, I really hope that you guys find these valuable. And if you have suggestions, let me know. I'll be happy to take a look. Something that is, you know, short and helpful and something I can share with the Divi community. Something about using Divi and it can be from beginner to advanced. All right, well, we'll see you guys in the next video.